welcome back to this Sunday's video. I hope you guys are excited for this lesson today. Um, for those who are home, welcome. I hope you guys are cozy and ready to learn. And for those who are here, welcome back. I'm so excited to see your faces. We missed you and um, just hope you are ready to learn. So let's just get started with the Bible verse. We're going to start off with the English version first. So the English version says, you are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud, be gentle and patient. Colossians 3.12 And now we're going to do it one more time. And it says, you are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud, be gentle and be patient. Colossians 3.12 And now we're going to do the Spanish version. Ahora lo vamos a hacer en español. Por lo tanto, como escogidos de Dios, santos y amados, revístanse de afectos entrañables y de bondad, unidad, amabilidad y paciencia. Conocenses 3.12 Una vez más. Por lo tanto, como escogidos de Dios, santos y amados, revístanse de, afect de afecto entrañable, Y de bondad, unidad, amabilidad y paciencia. Colosenses 3.12 So I hope you guys learned the Bible verse. I um, hope you guys are just repeating it and just memorizing it and really studying what it means. And so since we're done with that, let's just get into worship and worship God. Who am I that the highest king would But he brought me in all oh, his love for me All oh, his love for me Who the sun sets free Who oh, is free indeed I'm a child of God Yes, I A slave to sin, Jesus died for me. Yes, he died.
Dios les bendiga, niños. God bless you. I'm so excited to be here on the screen to be teaching you today's Bible story. But before we start, I want to know who is at church. Please raise your right hand if you are at church. And those of you who are at home, please raise your left hand. So are you ready? Are you excited to be here in front of the screen to learn about the Word of God today? Say yes. I'm ready. All right, we're going to get into the Bible story for today. All right, so who remembers what we learned last week? Hmm, did you watch the lesson though? If you didn't, then you may not know. But if you did, all right, if you don't remember, it's okay. So we talked last week, we talked about the reason to be kind in the first place. We can be kind to others because God is kind to us. In Spanish, kind is amable. Podemos ser amables a otros porque Dios es amable con nosotros. I know sometimes it's not easy to be kind and it's hard to admit, right? Especially with those who are close to us, our closest ones who are close to us, our brother, our sister, you probably are saying, oh, hermana Wendy, you don't know my brother. If you know him, you will see why I'm not kind to him. But today we're going to learn about a family that they were kind to each other. The story of Ruth in the Bible. So you will see I have some signs on my back and I'm going to give you some um uh, names of the Bible story so it's easier for you. So the first one, we're going to start with Naomi. Noemi, you see, this is Naomi. And she was from Judah. Say it with me, Judah, right? Or Judea, Naomi, Noemi, all right? So this is, who is it again? Naomi. And Naomi had a husband. This is Naomi's husband. Right, so I get good look to Naomi's husband. Also, Naomi and Naomi's husband, they had a son, son number one. Tenían un hijo. Well, they had two children. This is number one, and this is number two. So they all were from Judah. You see, they were all from Judah. So, but however, there wasn't enough food in Judah. So all of them, okay, all of them had to move to Moab. I'm going to pull here Moab. This is the other place where they had to go. So they went away from Judah and they went to Moab. All right, that was the place they went. Why? They went there because it wasn't, there wasn't enough food for them. Okay, once they were in this place, you know what happened? I know, sometimes it's sad, but something sad happened. Naomi's husband, he passed away. So it was only Naomi with her kids, okay? Once her kids, you know, they were grown up men, and then, you know what happened? They got married, yep. Son number one, got married to Orpa. Yep, that was her name, all right? And son number two got married to Ruth. Yes. So Naomi, right, Naomi here, had her son with Orpa, and her son number two married Ruth. But sadly, both of Naomi's son also died, okay? They were not longer with their wife. So that only left who? Naomi, right? Orpa and Ruth. Naomi told Orpa and Ruth, hey, you guys can go back to your hometowns. You don't need to stay with me. My sons are not here. They already died. But, so Naomi gave them the option, right? That they could go, but Orpa decided to go. So she went back to her town, to Moab. But Ruth decided to stay with Naomi. But Ruth said, you know, 
she would stay with Naomi. And this is what she said. Listen to this. This is on the Bible verse on the screen. Those of you who know how to read, please just read. And those of you who don't, just listen carefully and stay quiet. All right, listen up. It says, don't try to make me leave you and go back. Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. So Naomi tried to convince Ruth to stay in her homeland, but she soon realized that Ruth was determined, you know, to come with her, you know, so that two women were in Naomi's town. What was Naomi's town? Who remembers Naomi's town? We're gonna remove completely Moab from here and Orpha. And here we are, Ruth, Naomi, and where were they? They were in Judah. Yes, they were in Judah. That was the hometown, Bethlehem, Judah. In Judah, the city of Bethlehem, there was a man who lived there. His name was Boaz. Yes, this guy right here, Boaz. Boaz was related to Naomi, all right? He owned fields, like you see on the screen. You see fields, like for instance, how many of you have done pumpkin patch? How does the uh, uh, pumpkins grow? There's like big fields, right? And you will see the pumpkins. So he owned fields like that, but like many, many fields. But those were grains. Just what, what are grains? like arroz, rice, right? Those are type of grains, I mean, sorry, rice, uh, grains that we eat. So he owned fields, boys, all right? So as many you have guessed, he went, they both went to his fields, all right? So move, so here's Ruth next to Boaz, all right? I don't know if you, what are you thinking right now when you see these two together. So. God made a law that when land uh, owners harvested a field, they were supposed to leave some grain behind for people who needed food. Who needed food right here? Ruth and Naomi, they needed food. So um, Ruth, you know, was able to gather food from who? From Boaz fields. Food for both of them, remember, because. They were by themselves. They didn't have anyone to help them out. So Boaz noticed a new woman. Who was a new woman? It was Ruth, right? He asked the man, you know, because this guy had power. He was like in charge of everything, but he had someone who was in charge of the fields. So, and he learned that Ruth was Naomi's daughter's in law. In law, Boaz had heard about Ruth kindness to Naomi because Ruth came to, you know, came with Naomi, you know, she followed Naomi, no like Orpa, right? When we learned that Orpa just decided to leave and she went away, I mean, not that she went away, she went back to her hometown, she went back to her country, right, to Moab. However, what did she, what did Ruth do? She was very kind to stay with her mother-in-law, right? So she was what? Kind. So, the, you know, he would, she would collect food and also he was very kind. Who was very kind? Boaz was very kind because he let them grab grains, you know, uh, food from the fields. And also he gave the order. He told his men, working men, it's like, if you see this woman, if she asks for water, please give her water. If she needs something, please give it to her. He was being very kind. Why he was kind? Because he saw them, right, by themselves. They were lonely. They had no other company. So Boaz, um, even gave Ruth some bread and roasted grain to eat. At the end of the day, Ruth was able to bring a large amount of grain to Naomi. Uh, just like you see in the picture on the screen right here, she was able to bring grains, you know, for her and Naomi to eat. Ruth continued to work in Boaz's fields until the end of the grain harvest. Like I mentioned earlier, right? Pumpkin patch. Do we have pumpkins right now? No. So on the fields, 
sometimes there are vegetables, there are strawberries. Uh, maybe during summer you go strawberry picking or um, not summer, uh, springtime, right? So there are times where you can harvest. So she continued, Ruth continued until the end. Naomi knew that God has set up a special way for Boaz to rescue their family. So she told Ruth to visit Boaz in secret. Yes. Because, so Boaz woke up, you know, one night and Ruth shows up to talk to Boaz. Because you know what? In their culture, if there was, you know, like them, she didn't have a husband, she didn't have a husband, they were lonely. So if there was uh, some family, right, that could take care, like long relatives or, or someone they knew, they had to take care of those who were lonely. So Boaz took care, was there to rescue. What does that mean? They were kind. Boaz was kind to take care of these two women. What does that mean? Wedding bells, please. So and Naomi came to live with them. So they got married. Naomi came to live with them. So through the kindness of Boaz and Ruth, Naomi had a brand new home. A short time later, Boaz and Ruth had a baby. A baby named Obed. Or in Spanish, Obed. Obed. Okay? So here's the really cool part. Obed later had a son named Jesse, who was father of King David. Who remembers King David? David, remember the small person, the short guy who killed the Goliath, the giant? Remember, who remembers that? Yes. So Obed had a child. I'm gonna just put dots here, dot, 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 because there's so many people. So, and then that was King David had sons and grandsons and so on. So that's what I'm putting all, I'm putting all those people there. These are dots, all right? Meaning continue. Many, 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 many years later, Jesus was born as part of their family line. Okay, this is baby Jesus. It's amazing to see how God can use our kindness to accomplish his plan. Ruth was kind to Naomi when she chose to stay with her. Okay, yes. Ruth was what? Kind. And Boaz showed kindness to Ruth and Naomi by providing food for them, right? Eventually, Jesus, right here, Jesus, the Son of God, was born into their family. We can be like Boaz, Ruth, and Naomi. They were kind to their family and friends. And we can choose to do that too. In conclusion, or the bottom line, be kind to your family and friends. We all want to be kind. Todos queremos ser amables. Sé amable con tu familia y amigos. Remember, God has been kind to us and we want to be kind to others too. So how about we ask God and let's pray. Let's close our eyes right where you are and pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us the story of Ruth so we could see how important it is to be kind to the people you put in our lives. We love our family and our close friends, but it's easy for us to forget to be kind to them. Please help us show our friends and family how valuable they are by the way we treat them. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you kids for watching today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and learned about who? About Ruth, Naomi, Boaz, their baby. And from this guy right here, many others were born onto who? It was born Jesus from this family. So hope you enjoyed it. Take care. God bless you. I hope to see you soon. 
And if you are at church, enjoy that activities on your busy bag. Take care. God bless you.